I could talk all day about why I think Tyla is an industry plant, but does it really matter? No, she's talented either way and it's also how the entertainment business works now. And there's a lot of record labels that are cooking up industry plants left and right, but only a few get to make it to stardom until longevity. Her rise to fame kinda reminds me of Lil Nas X and Ice Spice. Let me know if you think so too in the comments below. Now, I have been thinking about this topic for a while now, but something confirmed it recently. So I came into a conclusion that South Africa's sweetheart is indeed a culture vulture. I know I'm gonna get some hot baba chakalaka from tigers, but believe it or not, I'm also a tiger. Okay, been following her since her musically TikTok days. So I basically watched her grow. Most of you probably know her from her orgasm song. So don't mess with me. I've been a tiger before she even debuted. Okay, now that's out of the way. Let's start this video by defining what a culture vulture is. There's a lot of definitions, but my favorite one for the context of this video, a culture vulture in music is a music artist who monetizes off of a genre just to pivot when they make it. Now you're probably asking yourself, how does Tyler fit into the definition? Let me explain. Ama Piano is a subgenre from South Africa created by black folks in Gauteng. It became mainstream in 2018. Lil Miss Tyler was still doing her cover songs that were R&B, pop, basically it's just finding her sound. Then 2019 came, she dropped her debut single with Cool Drink, Getting Late, and a dance challenge for it on her TikTok with her thousands and thousands of followers. Then she made it her thing to call her style of ama piano, pop piano. Cause quote unquote, she's the only one doing it in English. And she's the only one that's doing it in three minutes or less. As you all know that ama piano songs originally, they were longer, like seven minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. You know where I'm going with this. But did you know that pop piano existed long before her? She made it her twist with all of the resources that she has. That girl doesn't even know what poverty is, guys. Her naming it pop piano made it very clear, very obvious, that she's going to pivot in the nearer future. She proved it with her single, Butterflies on and on she proved it that she was gonna pivot to r&b and pop she chose to do both ama piano and pop r&b because pop is for the american market to appeal to the american music market ama piano was she was using it just to break in the u.s market as you all know when you're trying to break into a foreign market when it comes to music you have to be different you don't have to be like everyone else you know so she was using ama piano to break into the u.s market while keeping her native fans in south africa and stand out in the states sound wise unpopular opinion i don't think she should have won a grammy david or should have won don't come for me in the comments this is just my personal opinion anywho on the 5th of December 2023, she announced her world tour and I was so excited but I quickly became frustrated because guess what? Africa isn't included. What the f did you say? Tyler isn't including Africa, especially her home country, South Africa, on the damn list of countries of her world tour. How the do you call it a well tour but africa isn't on the list she just pulled the beyonce move right now i mean ben up boy is bigger than her she, he is an international act but he still includes nigeria his home country on his tour dates how the f who the f she thinks she is i'm on foot sake tyler yo but i became a little hopeful when she said more dates are coming we shouldn't worry 
but it's already March. Her album is coming on the 21st and her tour starts on the 22nd of March. But still, South Africa is still not included on the damn list. The post I'm referring to where she posted um, about the tour list, she deleted it. I think because the comments were brutal. Now I know my South Africans, bruh. They chewed her up. I feel like she it on our faces, man. I feel like she it on the millions of South Africans that contributed to her water song becoming three times platinum. The song that was number one in South Africa but was removed now is number two because Truth or Dare is now number one. It was me removed to number two in the charts because her song through the day took the spot way faster than the water song and she's betraying us like we don't exist i mean her lingo she got her lingo from south africa dance move accent on the african side of things and her style of genre in south africa and she's gonna spit her water on our faces like that i take it personally because i'm her day one and if you're watching this you're probably a fan too she used us for social proof so the states could take her serious as an artist she used ama piano to get to a point where she can pivot she's going to continue with the genre because that's the only way to be grateful to south africa without giving them a show while she's making euros pounds and dollars talking about capitalism but i'm not gonna lie she is a marketing genius or her team whoever is responsible for her whatever i'm happy for her but guys i was willing to rob a bank to watch her perform because i knew right now she was worth a lot of money i'm talking pounds euros etc but to hambi look at she gone she gone she's never coming back and yeah, yeah, what other artists now they'd like to come to South Africa when they are old? Like our man, you didn't come in this country when you were in your prime. I'm telling you, being to my mama six to South Africa, it's true. But anyway, maybe we should blame her record label, but she still signed a contract. She knew what she got herself into, but th that's just my opinion. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Let's conversate and debate and I'll see you. Hold up! When I was editing this video, I found out that Tyler cancelled her tour because of her injury. Suspicious. Um, I'm sure I'm loyal to South Africans for not including South Africa on the damn list. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, it's a joke. I'm, I'm, play I'm just playing. I, as a music artist, I, would, I wouldn't want that to happen to my biggest enemy may her soul rest in yo eh, eh. askis askis i didn't mean that i really did not english is hard man english never loved us but may she get better soon prayers to her but at least her album is dropping so go pre-save it i can't wait to pirate i mean i can't wait to stream it i suggest go stream it too even though yeah, it data ish but anyway, I'll see you next time. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below if you have any thoughts. We out.